Hey guys, so I was out here. I'm actually about to start filming another video. Uh, grazing. Um, it's currently been uh, raining all morning. Now we're in the sun. We, we've hit a place of sun. And um, it is supposed to start raining here in about two or three hours again. We just had two inches of rain this morning, but I can't, thought, heck, if I can come out here real quick and get some of the stuff done, it'd be great. But um, I've got this tire here, and I believe it's from 2006. August of 2006 is what it says. And um, I've had a tube put in it because it leaked at one time last summer, or the summer before that. Uh, yeah, summer before that. We made this garden. I think we left a screw or two around, and I put a hole in the front tire on the rider there. And um, so I had to get that replaced. But then I think I got it got punched somewhere else. And this tire was um, randomly it, it went low, just randomly. So I thought, well, I looked around. I kind of found a little leak, but you guys can see it's pretty rot dry rotted pretty good this rim is starting to flake and it's still okay but it's starting to chip and there's not much metal left some of it's real crusty um back side's okay that's protected but this outside here it's not any it's not any good what I was actually trying to do, and I knew I couldn't do it, I just messed it up even more. But sometimes, guys, you have to learn. You can see the drill rub this in here. But um, I, I couldn't get a good angle, and I, just after a few seconds, I managed to do this. Ream that out even more. I was trying to put a bigger grease fitting in there because it's stripped, and I just that just didn't work out. So we're gonna. We're going to replace this. I'll probably keep this around as a spare. Because it is still okay. But I, it just needs to be replaced. It's just like my other tire I had. It, it blew out a couple years ago. And then we put another one on. Um, anyways, I'm going to get this one put back on for right now. And then we should have a new one here in a couple weeks that we can do to replace um, I did find me a good deal on a tire off of Amazon with a rim this guys everybody knows how much of a pain it is to mount these tires I'm not really a fan of mounting tires at all and um, so Anyways, I don't really have much work for it. It's going to be sitting this week, luckily, so I won't be doing any hauling or anything with it. But, um, yeah, it's okay, but this room here is getting a little crusty, and it's not... It's just really old, and then here on the inside, I forgot to mention this, is this is really rusting out. So... A couple for a while it, it ran on fix a flat. I think some fix a flat was put in at one time, and then it had an inner tube put in it. But I mean, you guys can see it's got slashes, it's starting to crack real bad, it's getting worse and worse. And even though it has an inner tube in it, I don't trust this rubber very much. I don't really trust dry rotted tires like this, so. But, uh, anyways, the next thing I want to do is get that other side greased. Um, but, yeah, now I know that this is bad. So, yeah, anyways, I want to get a few little things done with this stuff today. But, um, 
yeah, it's just no good. So we're gonna go on over here and start our greasing process here. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna start another video here.